Hello, my marvellous sausages. It's the 22nd, is it? Yes, of March, and it's a weekly reset. So let's have a little look and see what's going on this week. Now, we don't have any story beats this week from the season, but we'll have a quick look at what we've got going on in the helm. We'll have a look at the Eververse. We'll have a look at Banshee's weapons and various other bits and bobs too. So first of all, I wanted to start here in the helm uh, because, well, look, there's a little axe here now, or it's rather a large axe, actually, from uh, what's his chops? Old Salad tin because he's buggered off. Not spoiled. Well, he hasn't buggered off, but anyway, I won't spoil it. So yeah, that's quite a neat little addition there. Plus, there's also a message here in the console just in case you miss it. And you've got to listen to the message. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I love that. That was fantastic. Listen to it, you must. Yes. Listen to it, you must. Yes. Mm. Right. Here we go uh, into the Vanguard operations. Nothing too exciting. Well, bugger all, actually. But I just want to point something out. If you go to the upgrades, you need you, you know you need the insight here to unlock the extras. Well, this time, uh, they are, of course, related to the seasonal challenges. But we can earn two this week because uh, we've got the Complete the PsyOps Battleground EDZ on Legend difficulty. And we've got defeat light hoarders in the psyops battleground on the edz so yes we've got legendary psyops battlegrounds now so if you go to the uh helm map you can see a new node on there saying psyops legend battlegrounds or battlegrounds legends it's 1550 so it's pretty tough it's not match made either so you've got to go in with a pre-made fire team on that baby right then let's go and have a look at what we've got in the eververse <laughs> I love standing on that chap's head. So first off, we've got this rather cool looking baby here, uh, which of course is from this season. It's called the, uh, well, look at all the different names of it. So this is, uh, look at that. That's, <laughs> that's a really cool looking Sparrow, the 5P3AR. We've got the N33DL. Look at that. Wow, it's really cool. Bloody love that. And then we've also got uh, an AE99 shell as well. Which basically looks like Eva, <laughs> or what Eva would be, you know, from Wally. -E. Yes, excellent. There we are. So that's pretty cool, and that's on sale, thirteen percent off. Lovely. Okay, what else have we got for silver here? We've got the molten weapon ornament for the uh, dead messenger. Yeah, that's quite nice. We've got the Prometheus OSP ship, which is basically a space shuttle, <laughs> and that is utterly brilliant. Wow, I love that. That's cool. And then we got the uh, Bushwhacker shell as well, which is, uh, well, it's a Bushwhacker shell, isn't it, eh? It's got a backpack and everything. That's bloody marvellous. Let's go down and see what we've got for Brighter. So we've got a Lucid Shader here, first of all. I believe I've already got that one, but bloody hell, doesn't that look, well, dark brown and green. Let's have a look. Can I buy it? Oh, no, I haven't got it. Acquire. It's a shader. It was so dark on the actual little icon that I couldn't see it. Then we've got the uh, Dito Capsule Entrance. With kink. Uh, that's quite cool. And then we've got the Constellation Tracer ship, which was actually last week's ship for silver. So if you wanted that one, now's a good chance to pick that one up. Uh, we've got the Canopus Trimimimim. Trim, mim, mim, mim. And uh, that's a, 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 what is that? It's a sparrow, I suppose. Oh, look at that. That's really weird. It's got like a floating orb at the back. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Very, very interesting. Yes, that's from Season of the Arrivals as well. Bloody hell. And then we've got our normal um, boons and things down there. Let's have a look at Brightest. What have we got? Spring Showers emote. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's have a little look at that. Is he going to start dancing in it? Oh, no, he's just miserable. Do something at the end. No, he's just miserable. Okay, that's fair enough. What do we got here? Then we've got... Ta-da! Ta-da! Yeah, that's quite cool, isn't it? Is it a constant one? It's a constant one. Is it not going to stop? It's still going. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's, ex it's still going. I'm going to buy that one. Oh, that's great. That's really handy for comedy emoting purposes. Then we've got the off-road shell, uh, which is basically the off-road shell from uh, um, from this season. Yes, look at that. Massive canisters of petrol or gas on the side there. We've got the Terran sidecar. This is 30th anniversary. Oh, my God. That's brilliant. <laughs> forgot about that one that's excellent i love the speedo on it it's brilliant and you got a fuel tank look as well and a rev counter fantastic uh what have we got here elect of the empty bond Ooh, so new season um what do you call it oh it's an ornament what the hell am i talking about i thought it was a bloody transmat effect look at that 
That is very nice indeed. For the Titan, we've got the Desolation Diver Universal Ornament, which is actually very nice. Oh, look, it covers up the posing pouch. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And the Hunter Ornament is called the Abyss Walker Cloak. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, cool. We've got an energy bow on our back. That is very nice indeed. Well worth picking up. Then we've got a Galahorn ornament as well, which is very, very sexy. Now you can, uh, you could earn that in game as well, couldn't you? Unfortunately, but I've already got it. It's in collections. There we are. I've already got that one. And then we've got the Stasis Projection too, which is rather pretty. Yes. Let's drop down to this row. We've got a Seaver Emergence. Quite alieny, isn't it? I like that one, that's cool. Uh, Harpy's Cry. Oh, don't cry, Harpy. I'll just quietly shoot you in the face. Uh, and then we've got a Plesiohedral ple State. It's a Plesiohedral State. Yeah, whatever that means. And then we've got Trinity, a new shader. Let's have a look at that. It's one I don't have. It's a green and light grey, but you can see we've got dark grey and like a silvery effect on it as well. Could go on really well. Let's pick that baby up. Thanks very much. And then we've got the Copper Brand. Uh, let's have a look at that, which isn't bad at all, actually. I don't mind that one. Copper Brand. It's quite nice, but I've already got it, of course. i got Byzantium Lotus as well. Ooh, that's nice, yes. Hot purple and yellow. And then we've got Metropolitan Acoustics. Beep, beep, beep. That's everything we've got here in the Eververse this week. Right, let's go and see what old Banshee's got. But before we do, don't forget to stop off at old Master Rahul if you've got legendary shards oh, falling out of your backside. Thanks very much. And pick up the uh, Ascendant Alloy because you need that baby for, you know, upgrading your weapons in the uh, Enclave. So there we go. I'm picking that up again there. Make sure you've got plenty of those. And then on we go to Banshee. And let's have a look at what weapons he's got this week. First of all, then, we've got the Spoiler Alert Sidearm. Now, uh, they've given this a C on Light GG. There's me rhyme every time. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got Unrelenting. We've got a Feeding Frenzy. We've got Armor Piercing Rounds. High Caliber Rounds. Short Spec Sass. Quick Dot Sass. And the Pain in the Sass is uh, a Reload Speed Masterwork. Splendid. Next, we've got the Perses. Percy's. Next, we've got Percy's D. Uh, let's have a little look. We've got uh, the Breach Armaments because it's Hack or Hacker or Hacker. Vor <laughs> Vorpal Rounds, Tunnel Vision, uh, Tactical Mag, Fled Magwell, Hammer Forge Rifling, and I'm a big full bore with a range masterwork as well. Nice little scout, that. Not too bad. It's got a C on Light GG, meaning some people retain this role. It's not that popular. An oldie but a goodie. We've got an annual skate here. This has gotten a B. And the reason being is because we've got the Dragonfly Masterwork on it. No, we haven't. We've got Dragonfly Trait on it. Yes. We've got Outlaw. We've also got Appended Mag. Steady Rounds. Sure Shot. HCS. Fast Draw. HCS. And it's got a Handling Masterwork. And we have another God Roll in our midst, ladies and gentlemen. It's for the Ogma, just up the road from me, PR6. Uh, we've got Dragonfly. Demolitionist. Excellent combo. Accurized Rounds. Appended Mag. Small bar and uh, chambered comp and potato, and we've got a reload speed masterwork on it as well. That is very nice indeed. S, they've given that on like GG, did I tell you? Then we've got the Typhon GL5 rocket launcher. They've given this an A, so this is a pretty popular role. It's got frenzy and demolitionist, yeah, proximity grenades, high velocity rounds, linear comp and potato, and quater mass in the pit, and it's also got a velocity masterwork too, so that's not too bad. And then finally, we've got the Eternity's Edge. So we're on the sword game again this week. So we'll have a little look at the Hunters and the, and the Titans in a moment. This one for the Warlocks. What have we got here? It's been given a B. It's got Surrounded, Tireless Blade, Infinite Guard, Enduring Blade, Honed Edge, and Glen Close. Hooray! And it's got an Impact Masterwork, because that's pretty much what they always have. The Titan Sword is the Crown Splitter. They've given this one an A. However, it's a bloody good roll. Well, A says it's a bloody good roll, really. But it's got a Vorpal on it. It's got Thresh, Heavy Guard, Honed Edge, Glen Close, and Tempered Edge as well, and we've got an Impact Masterwork. And the Hunter's Sword is called Quick Fang, and we've got a God Roll on our hand, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have Assassin's Blade, Relentless Strike, Swordmaster's Guard, Hungry Edge, Glen Close, or Tempered Edge, and an Impact Masterwork. It's got an S 
on Light GG. Today's mods, we've got a boss spec, we've got a counterbalance stock, major spec and Icarus grip. Let's go and see what old Ada's got. All right, me darling, what have you got here? We've got a machine gun scavenger, shotgun dexterity, elemental ordnance, very handy this season if you haven't got that, and sidearm holster as well. And I just popped over here with the old drifter. Oh, thanks very much for your powerful gear. Uh, there's double points this week on Gambit, so if you're looking to up your rank to bag your a reckless endangerment now is the time to do it you'll be doing it rather quickly and one other thing I want to point out as well we have had a hot fix actually this time round and in this hot fix they have fixed the Ariana's vow bug because what was happening was it was doing PvE damage to the guardians who were intense PvP when an invader jumped across so we were one shotting them all and I did a video on it and loads of people liked it and loads of people also said you shouldn't be doing this it's very irritating nothing to do with me, governor. I just haven't made a video about it, did I? I just made a video about it. So anyway, that's all finished. You'll be pleased to know. And something else they've done in this hotfix is that they've increased the caps of the elements. You know, the adroit element or the, uh, what else have we got here? The energetic element. They've gone up from 250 to 1,000. And the neutral element has gone up from 8,500 to 10,000. We'll have a quick look at the old throne world and see what we've got reset. Now, we're going to have moths, of course, which I'll be doing a video on later on this evening. But we've also got a new story mission. And this one this week is called... Uh, the last chance. Yes, so uh, there's that one there. You can get some Ascendant Alloy for doing that. And the drop rates are quite good too. And just in case you want to partake of the Nightfalls, it's Fallen Saber. And the plug one is the uh, weapon What you can earn from doing that. So lots of interesting things happening this week, even though we don't really have any more story beats this season to come. But if you want to watch some more story larks, or indeed any kind of larks, I've got a live streaming channel that I'm pushing like buggery. No, I'm not. I'd just be quite cool if you pop by and had a chat and had a watch and had a laugh with my lovely sausage community and they're all bloody lovely I don't mind telling you and don't forget if you did enjoy this vid give me a like and a subscribe and leave a comment as well and let me know what you're going to be buying this week lots of goodies in the eververse thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon sausage out